Okay, hello everyone, welcome back. So for this video, I would ex explain how to calculate bubble temperature and G temperature. Bubble temperature and G temperature is more complicated than the bubble pressure and G pressure because uh, we don't know what the temperature and then we need the temperature to calculate the uh, PI set and uh, P1 set and P2 set in Antoine equation. So we're gonna use a little bit of um iteration to call to get the idea uh, about the the G point for temperature and also the bubble point temperature. Right. So um let me refresh the uh the case. The case is for acid in a trial and also the nitromethane. And uh you also have the underlying equation with the constant for acetonitrile and also nitromethane. Uh, both of this value I got it from um appendix in a uh, Wilson and uh Fannes book. Yeah. Okay. Um so uh we have explained, um, I think I, I explained the previous one for the bubble pressure and also the dew pressure. So I'm going to move to the next one, which is the bubble temperature. Okay, so in bubble temperature, the pressure is known, is determined in the beginning. So uh, uh, from the case, it is at 70 kilopascal, this one, so I put it like that. And then the next one is to calculate the T1 set and T2 set. The T1 set is um, calculated, or TI set is calculated from B, the constant that uh, we just got it a bit previously, divided by A minus ln P, and then P minus C1. So you got the um, pressure, 70 kilopascal, put it there, and you get the TI set, both of the component one and also component two. So because um, this is the, the saturated temperature for compound and one, the assessment trial. And then also this is the uh, the saturated uh, temperature for a nitromethane. Um, so we should actually um, can predict that the temperature of the system should be between both of sides, yeah, between 70 to 89.65. Okay, so we have to uh, do the iteration, the bug or uh, guess, let's say. Um, so what I would do, the first one, uh, let's make initial value. Uh, let's make initial value for, uh, maybe I'll just put it like this one. So uh, again, let's move into, uh, let's, let, let me highlight maybe this one, or maybe let me highlight the number 0 0.2. So oh, that one, okay. Uh, maybe just a little bit, okay. So, um, because it is a bubble temperature, so you have a liquid, uh, you have a saturated liquid, so you have the composition of the liquid, which is 0 0.2, okay. So, and then for your temperature, uh, for your temperature, you need to uh, guess, I'm gonna bump. Okay, so in my first guess, maybe around uh, 70, uh, uh, maybe 87. So I'm going to put this one um, or maybe my second guess, let's say 87 or maybe 85, maybe just let's put the guess, not 87, yeah, maybe, um, maybe yeah, yeah, uh, because 0 0.2, I put it like this, maybe 85, but let's put it 85 like that one. Okay, so the next one, um, let's put the PI, uh, calculate the PI set using the uh, temperature, the gas temperature, because we need the temperature to calculate the P1 set there. So uh, it is calculated that, that the P1 set is 112, and also P2 set based on this temperature again is around 59.9. Okay, and then we also can calculate alpha, which is P1 set minus divided by P2 set, this one, uh, which is around 1.88. Okay, so um, the next one, let's calculate the P, which is the pressure, which is the pressure of the system. If, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 
Uh, this one, which is the pressure of the system if we know the mole fraction of the liquid, which is X1 P1 set plus X2 plus P2 set, okay? So you know the um, P1 set, even though it's, it's not uh, still tebakan, yeah, it's still uh, guessing, you know, P2 set, and you know the X1, and also you know the X2. So then you can calculate your P, okay? Write this one. Okay, um, in, uh, and then you can uh, calculate your PQ set there using this formula. But anyway, um, in my case, uh, what I did is actually, I want to, in, in, my, uh, um, in my approach, I want to compare the, the calculated temperature from, uh, P1, P equal to X, X1 multiply with P1 set plus X2 multiply with P2 set and compare with the real pressure. So the real pressure it should be 70 kilopascal. Well, the calculated pressure is 70.44. So it is different. So I can see some different, which is this one, okay? Uh, so the idea of the, and then we, I have to do another uh, temperature. Then I have to change this one. Uh, my new temperature, I have, I need to put it uh, here and then make the, the iteration, okay? So in my case, I make a iteration by actually uh, put the data and then use the solver or goal seek like that. And then I want the sub objective, which is the objective is this one, which is uh, the one that I'm looking for. I want the objective to be equal to zero, which is the value of zero by changing the one that uh, I guess the one that I guess in the beginning is the uh, let me because I, this is my guessing. So I should be like this one. The uh, wait, I think by changing for variable. Um, one. um or uh, I would say this is e fifty nine and then solve it there, and then this become two zero. So let me make it bigger again. Uh, maybe let's enter full screen. So after that, they will call. It, they will just recalculate, recalculate, and recalculate. Sorry, I'm gonna go back here. Oops, this hasn't been done. So let me calculate it. this one. The set objective is. That one. Okay. Um. So that would be I fifty nine. Okay, and then changing. Okay, I see fifty nine. Okay, so here. Uh, now the delta becomes zero and it's actually changing to 84. So if you, uh, let open again. So in my case, but okay, uh, then see this become zero and over here become 84. But anyway, there's also another uh, another way how to calculate it is actually to calculate the P2 set uh, and then like this one, to calculate the P2 set and then compare the P2 set, the calculated one 
to the P2 set on uh, by changing uh, this one. That's also uh, yeah, maybe should be possible. Okay, so in my case, I'm using uh, the the pressure as a uh, uh, how to how to do the iteration. Okay, so once so this is your uh, this gonna this is gonna be your my temperature. So from eighty five. Uh, that my initial value, I got the the final temperature actually is 84.81. So maybe if you do a calculation manually, you may need maybe two or three or four uh, types at uh, times for the calculation, for the iteration. But if you're using Excel and Google then you can just uh, calculate straight away. Maybe uh, they they calculate it, but in, in more, uh yeah faster of course okay and then when you get the temperature then you can get your y y one using just the compass uh the which is this one just uh, original one again using this pressure so uh, y one equal to x one which is you have the x one you have the p one set with your corrected temperature and also you have the pressure of the system okay so then it is your uh this one. And then do that. So you, uh, if you have um, ten, uh, ten composition, maybe you minimally you have eight uh iteration, eight eight, eight run of iteration, all to get uh for maybe for each composition zero point one, zero point two until you get zero point nine. Okay. And then uh, let me check the calculation. Okay, so this is would be the. Uh, the chart title so it would be looks like this one if i make this the graph so this is temperature and this is the x which is would be the bubble pre uh, temperature and this is the this is actually the correcting the the q temperature over here okay so that's the picture okay And then I will say this is uh, the chart title as GXY diagram at 70 kilopascal. Okay. Right, so last one um, about due temperature. Uh, again, in this case for due temperature, you have a vapor. And then you have saturated vapor. So the one that you have the composition is the saturated vapor, this one. Okay, maybe just guess one. However, maybe 0 0.2. Let's have a look, these numbers, this one. And then again, uh, you need to also using some initial value. So my initial value is similar with the previous one. So I put around 84, put it here, 84.2. 81 or or maybe just put it 84 okay my uh i'll put it right because it's not the right one okay when you have the temperature calculate the p1 set also the p2 set and also alpha if you want and then calculate the pressure but for the pressure of two temperature you follow this calculation which is one divided by sigma yi divided by uh, pi z because the gamma actually equal to one okay for idle rolls okay so then you have the p the temperature uh, if you want you can calculate the p1 set as well uh, using uh, this formula if you want with the alpha uh, similar to the temperature, uh, similar to uh, the book or the slide, and then you can wait for. But in this case, I'm using the pressure as the um, the one that I want to um, make sure. To, I want to, you know, check it. Okay, so this is the peak. Uh, this is the gap, which is the calculated pressure and also the, the real pressure that I have. So even from 70 kilopascal with a submission temperature of 84, I got the calculated pressure is 63. So why I should do is actually, um, again, using goal seek to reduce, to minimize the peak calculation. So my peak calculation become equal to the uh, real uh, pressure that in the beginning. 
Okay, so from the Excel, use the data there, click the data, and then use over here, uh, you know, uh, here is the solver. Okay, and for the solver, uh, I want to set objective of this one. I kind of change it, so I'll just write it I uh I seventy one. I think I'm just gonna write it like that I seventy one by changing C. I think by changing the temperature, which is C. Uh, Sorry, it looks like I'm okay. I'm gonna continue this one. Okay, so specific. Uh, okay, I think I've uh, just put it back. The solver parameters is seventy-seven. Okay, so I want to change this. Uh, I seventy-seven to minimize it so with that means with the value of zero and by changing shell by changing cell of sheet uh this one yeah just c77 c77 okay so let's run it solve it and then wait for a while and sleep. So solver found solution, all constraint and optimal condition are satisfied. And then so keep the solver solution and then, okay. So here my peak equations become zero and also my pressure now become 70 and my uh, temperature is actually now become uh, uh, 60, uh, 86, yeah. So my initial one was 84. And then uh, let me open my full screen again. Uh, you can do it at every co composition. Do it for that, that one until you got your pickle equation zero and then do the Gannett iteration. So I did several iteration up to here and you got your pickle equation. Once you got your te uh, temperature and then you can get your X as well using the um this one so x equal to y one p divided by p one set like that so you got the the x and then you can also get your uh draw so even though you draw it from um bubble temperature or dew temperature the graph would be essentially the same because it's it's, it's at the same uh, pressure of course and it show you the uh, t x y diagram Okay, I hope um, you can implement this one to your uh, case and uh, good luck.